Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the announcement of the evening. And now, introducing to you, hailing from West London, United Kingdom, coming in by way of the dance hall and grime scene, it's Lady Yorkers! Yo, hey there, this lady Shan rep non less street. Yeah, welcome to Boxology with Lady Shan. And we have Ashley Treasure Theo Payne. You know, I get these interviews, you know, I'm privileged to, to get these guys on my show. Like, massively appreciated, Ashley. I know it's a busy time for you right now. So, thanks for joining me. Like, we're going to chop it up. Like, we're going to start. So, okay. let's, let's start with, let's start with your. Okay. Let's start with your accolades. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, so you want me to introduce myself? Yes. All right. So I'm Ashley Fiafe. Um, I've got 50 professional wins, former British champ champion. I fought for the world belt. Um, I fought in 12 countries, won all of them. I was part of um, TMT with Floyd Mayweather. Um, I've had headlined over there in the USA. So um, I've, I've, done, I've done a lot. I've done a lot. And what brought you into boxing? Where are you originally from in that? All right, so basically I'm from Paddington. Um, you know, um, my dad was into the sport or is into the sport. So I used to watch it with him when I was like a little kid, like five like five years old. I always mm -hmm. wanted to box. So um, I asked my mum and dad if I could try it out. So when I was around eight years old, I went to All Stars Gym. And then that was basically the start of it. That's what I wanted to do. I had fun at the gym mm -hmm. and I wanted to do this as, as a career. Yeah. And um, so as an amateur, when you first entered, like, because, you know, with the weight cap, what was what was your weight then as an amateur? Uh, basically, as an amateur, I was well to weight. I was like, well, well to weight as an amateur, mm -hmm. as, as an amateur. But, um, yeah, I, I basically... From when I was a kid to when I've been a big man, I have not grown a lot. That's I, that's where I was getting to. Because I was like, okay. did he start like mad life? Yeah, and then not, like, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, it's crazy. <laughs> for, for like, yeah, 25 years, I have not grown in height or whatever. So um, I've <gasps> been the same way. The mad thing. Which okay. is weird. It, which is weird. I'm like 5'8", but my yeah. bro, my bro, my little bro is six, 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 four, And we have the same wow. mum and dad. So, so you when got he the, was you like got the 13, shorter gene. Yeah, no. So when we, so when he was like 13, 12, he was the same height as me. So um, yeah. So it's been and then nice. he just overtook Ash. He overtook. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I've been the big little bro. I like tall guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I go you might like my bro. You never. I know. go for it like yeah, yeah. <laughs> intro. Nah, nah. Okay, I, okay. Six, six foot minimum. I usually like, but you know, okay. there's always exceptions to the rules. Okay, for real, for real, for real. You for know, real. but yeah. So, how was it like be, being around Money May? Tell me a bit. Like, tell me some stories and like, did you have a lot of clashing of personality or? Or was it no. always an easy going type of thing? Um, so me, I'm kind Where did of... you go? It's just a picture there now. Where did you go? We have we lost you for a little minute, Ash. We're having technical problems. We're having technical issues. I think I blushed him all the way out of the out of the chat. <laughs> we'll see. He'll be back. It. So we're recording now. Go ahead. Okay, okay, so we can go. All yeah. right. So, so we skip the part that I, Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the yeah, Floyd so Mayweather. So with Floyd, I kind of, I'm kind of chilled and I'm just laid back. So um, I'm not like the Americans that are loud and all, all of that. So but I'm you're mo saying, but you're a bit moany as well, ain't you? Yeah, but that's me in it. But I'm cool in it as long as you, you know, you, you don't get me upset. Then we're all. Cool, la, 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 la. <laughs> But, but um, yeah, so I was with Floyd and I was just kind of chill. I'm not loud or anything. So mm. if the Americans are loud and whatever it is, I'm just kind of chill. So um, mm. I never really had much issues with... um. A, the one time I did have an issue is when some dude from the UK, he came over 
and he was trying to get on the team and he started to make issues with everyone on which he was dumb. He was trying to, I used to say to him, he's trying to get onto TMT, but you're you're making enemies with all of the folks who are yeah. on TMT. So exactly. even if you get on here, Floyd's not here all the time. So Floyd will bounce. And then you're left with a bunch of guys that don't like you. So um, like the one time I had beef with anyone yeah. was a dude from the UK trying to get on the team. Mm. And um, that's because he just, um, he just used to try, uh, try to start fights with all different guys. So we got into a normal altercation once, and but he ended up, he got killed over there still. So he got killed over there. So, oh, shit. So, so that's what I'm saying. The energy. So that's what I'm saying. I'm chilling it. You're yeah. allowed to have gun, guns over there. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So he ended up, um, to me, they said he committed suicide, but he didn't commit suicide. I think he was killed. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so it is what it is. So that's why you just got to, That's what I'm saying. So man like me, I'm just chilling. I went over mm -hmm. there. I was just chill. Yeah. And that's why I left. I left Mayweather Promotions two and a half years ago. But I'm still cool with them now in Florida. Why did you leave? Um, because I wanted to come back home to fight. I wanted to come because basically, um, I had like the last two years of my my deal over there. I had one fight a year, and like one like one fight a year is not enough. I want to fight. Mm -hmm. So then I asked them to leave because I wanted to fight. So that's I left them to come back here to fight. But I came back, couldn't get no fights here so mm -hmm. then i went on like a two-year world tour mm -hmm. just having little fights all over the world mm -hmm. and then i came back like a year ago and then i was trying to open up my own gym but then we went up into all of this corona thing so then i yeah so then i had to put mm -hmm. the gym on hold and then that's when i've got this fight now so so first hern tried to get me to fight ben but then mm -hmm. i couldn't i told him i couldn't fight ben because I put on a lot of weight, in it? Like, we just been at home, blah, blah, blah. I put on a lot of weight. So I said I could do it at the end of the year. They didn't want to wait to that, whatever it was. So then within that time, I'm in the gym getting my weight down. And then um, these guys have come and they've asked me if I want to fight um, Sam. So I've checked up Sam, saw that Sam's been British champion, Commonwealth champion, European champion. So I said, yeah, cool. Like, mm -hmm. I'll fight him because that would be a... A way for me to I want yeah, I wanted tomorrow. to retire like last year. I mm -hmm. wanted to retire like last year, but I wanted at least one fight here. So mm. this is my one fight here. And oh, yeah, is don't it's go. So, um, don't yeah. go. <laughs> I'm an old okay. man now. You're, four, you're forty. You're forty. Fighting at forty. Yeah. I'm yeah, but you don't look I'm forty. Yeah, you look, got... look, look good. Mm -hmm. I look look good, but you know. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, no. Jeans, the jeans, yeah, mommy's what, jeans, mommy, mommy's what, jeans. Yeah, what's your ethnicity? So basically, my mum's mixed. My mum is Jamaican and Irish, and then my father's from St. Lucia. Oh, oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, we all, we, we, all, we all blend in. My mum's half Dominican and Venezuelan, and my dad's Jamaican. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. same, same. Right, yeah, right, same right. vibe, same vibe. Uh, similar. Okay, so yeah. like, I want to talk about the Adrian Broner fight. Yeah. Like, how yeah. did that come about, and what was the what was the? Because I obviously we're going to talk about the outcome, but what was like the training, getting ready? Like, how did you feel when that fight was thrown at you? Was you was you nervous about that? Because Broner's a a madman on in and out when ring. I, when I first signed with Floyd. Mm -hmm. um, he told me, the first day that he signed me, he told me that he believed that I could beat him. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't fight AB until three years' time. Oh. So I already knew three years before that Floyd wanted me to fight him because he believed that I could beat him. Mm -hmm. And then me and Floyd had sparred. I sparred with Floyd like five times. And so he knew what I could do. And he said, if you could bring what you do in the ring against me to him, then you will win. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know what I'm saying? So, Did you spar so with the, Floyd then? Yes, I sparred with Floyd like five wow. times. Yeah, five, five. epic. So, um, so, like, so, yeah, so it was cool. So Floyd knew what I could do. He knew mm -hmm. what I was good at and what I was not good at. Right? And he believed I had what it took to win yeah. the fight. And um, so when he made the fight, he said to me, like, yo, I've done my job. I told you that I would get you the fight. Now it's up to you to get the result. And, and then there was a 
there was a problem with Brona making weight. He didn't make weight, right? Yeah, so AB, he, he didn't make weight. Um, he struggled struggled with weight because he put poor, 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 pots on a lot of weight. But yeah. um, it is what it is. He got fined and, you know. That's you got more of, money. Yeah, so it is what it is. So it doesn't really matter. Because when I was yeah, watching yeah, it, yeah. when I was watching it, I did notice he was quite a, a bit... Quite a bit bigger than you, to be fair. Yeah, he was, and he was, um, he was strong. So that was the, mm. what I felt with him is that he was strong. Like every time he hit me, he hurt. <laughs> <me>. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so, um, so it hurt, yeah, a lot. Yeah, so, so that was the issue. But the only, I, I don't mind in because in sport you're gonna lose. It's gotta be a man who wins, and it's gotta be a man that lost. Lose, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. but the yeah. way the fight was ended. Oh, draw. Yeah, yeah, draw, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, I got hit low, and then I complained to the referee, and the referee thought I was trying to quit, and then he stopped. The you fight. got stopped in the ninth round, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I- so um, the way the fight did end it has always irked me yeah. because I've never quit in my life. So for the referee to stop the fight because of that, I was pissed, and I was yeah. always. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you go? Are you back? Are you back? You keep leaving okay. me. I, I've got a feeling you don't like me because you keep leaving okay. me. We're coming, we're going. We're coming, we're going. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel <laughs> hurt. Hit and run. I, I feel I'm hurt, Ash. Run. You're hit and run. We don't want <laughs> men like you. We don't want <laughs> men like you then. Nah, nah. I've got a girlfriend. I'm a good guy. i got to put that out there. I'm a good guy. I don't know one to think I'm bad. i got a girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, well, I've got a part, part, partner because I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid, so I've got a partner. All okay. Right. All right. Blush. You blush, all right. though. <laughs> all right. No, all right. All right. What I was going to say about the... Um, but don't you think that the ref was fair to stop the fight? Because you was getting an onslaught of, of, of punches in that ninth round. I was getting an onslaught, but I haven't got an issue. The the point was he stopped the fight because I got hit low. When he stopped the fight, just before that time, I got hit low. Mm-hmm. And I t- that's why the whole crowd booed in the place. Mm. So the whole crowd there booed because they saw the low blow, but the referee was standing on the other side, so he couldn't see the low blow. So I'm not going to mm-hmm. make up no excuse, excuse, excuses. Mm-hmm. I, like, I was like three rounds behind on the fight, like anyway, when it got stopped. But it's yeah. just the point, the way I lost, is yeah, what yeah. That's the point that I lost. It's the way I lost. And then, so there would was there never uh, any talks of like a rematch or anything? No, because the fight no, was never close. Doesn't. It wasn't really close, so there yeah. was no need for no one. Need so for it. Real, just it take that off. So, yeah, so I had my one chance. The chance you think sometimes you get one shot in life. Mm. You don't take that chance. Chance gone. It chance done. Life. <laughs> yeah, so it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And um when you, and uh I, this brings me on nicely to um getting your thoughts on you know where you said you never quit uh, at all in the ring. How do you yeah. feel about the the Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois issue then? What, um, what's your take on that then? Um I don't think I would I don't think Dubois quit. Um I've been one of the guys to say that I don't think he quit. And I, I've been proven right because his eye was was messed, messed up. So there was a lot of guys who said he quit, blah blah blah. So my thing is, am I supposed to go blind for your entertainment? Is that, exactly, exactly. So, so for me, I don't think if we don't know the pain that the man was going through. So um, mm-hmm. and he done the smart thing. We've now seen that he did the smart thing. So when everything went down, like I was one of the ones who said. He didn't quit because we don't. One, we don't know the pain he's going. Go same, in. I said the same thing. Yeah, and it is what it is. And mm-hmm. he's still young. He's twenty three years old. Yeah, he's exactly. Come back again. So, exactly. Um, yeah. So um, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know which is, but, he quit. And, he, go on. Sorry. I'll say this: like back in my, like when I was a youth, when I was like 25, 26, mm-hmm. and I used to go to a fight. I used to tell my mum, well, she wouldn't come to my fight because she don't like to see me fight. Yeah, and I yeah. used to tell her. Like, boom, mum, if I die in the ring today, just know that I died doing, like, something that I want to do, like, living my dream. Yeah. And she was like, be, be quiet, like, stop saying saying that. But yeah. that was the mentality that I used to take in the ring, that I was willing to die. Like, so, I, so but that's what I'm saying. 
now I'm old. You guys are wild. But now I'm old and I've lived life and I see yeah. life after this sport and this sport is, you know what I'm saying? This sport don't love a few anyways. No. It may, may hit your door and bounce. So yeah. now it's not the same. But when I was young, like you're young and you got a dream and you just mm-hmm. want to do this thing. So that's how I was. But now, now, like 15 years have passed and I've lived so much. I've been around the world. The world. Have like you I made know, like, have you oh, made good money from the sport? Yeah, like I've been okay. Hence, I didn't need to take this fight. So, hence, to some people say, like, why would you turn down Sky but fight on Channel 5? Channel 5, they offered me, well, they gave me the same what Hearn offered me. So, like, they met my demand. So, there's not no... Yeah, but the, so. but the Sky the Sky Sports uh, comparison to Channel 5, the whole Sky Sports uh, experience, wouldn't you have loved to have been a part um, of that? I don't really care. I don't really care. Yeah, you like, don't I don't really care. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to say this, but like, I don't care for the hype in it. I've been with Floyd Mayweather. I've been yeah, yeah, with so, shit about yeah. them boys over here. Mm-hmm. Like, you can be big boys over here. That's cool for you. But mm-hmm. I've been with like the the big boy in the world. Mm-hmm. So for me, like, I, I've lived my thing. I've done. I've over exceeded. I've lived the life that I never thought I would live. So um. I'm 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 cool to be here because I actually when I was British champion I fought with these guys. Mm-hmm. So for me that coming right round. Yeah. Who have you so sparred I, I, that we would who have you sparred uh, out of the boys that are kind of floating about now? Have you sparred uh, have you sparred with any of these? I'm newer an old cats? Boy, so you, yeah, those old. they was too little, weren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. So so no, like there, there's been some young guys who I sparred with like this camp. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, 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 their names don't fit me, but I've sparred yeah. with like five, six, like young yeah. guys for this. And who, how did you who, do? Yeah, I done cool, but I'm saying like these guys were kids when I started out, but of now course. they're like young men. Yeah. So um, it, it 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 was cool and stuff, and um, yeah, like I done, but that was the whole thing. I had to spar with these young guys because they have the energy. Mm-hmm. They want to prove something. They want to put mm-hmm. it on on me. So mm-hmm. um, it was good to go in there to hold my own sometimes mm-hmm. to do good and to sometimes to do bad, but the end yeah. result is to be good for tomorrow. It's not yeah. to be good. Yeah. yeah. How old is Sam? 27 years old. Oh, shit. Okay, so significantly yeah. still have no, no longer time to go. Yeah. And, and, and okay, so tomorrow the fight starts at what time are you, what time is the undercards? Start. I'm the undercover around eight o'clock. I'm eight, on around 10. 10 I'm on about a- 10. So yeah, I'm gonna lock into that definitely. And where do you see what's what do you see happening? Because you're saying that this is your last fight. And, and like wh- even if, fight if, if you I've win got, I've, got, I've got a fight after this plan. So I've got it's my last fight here, and I've got mm-hmm. a fight after here planned. Where yeah, where's the fight after here? Ghana. Give, Ghana, give me the exclusive. Who's it with? No, 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 because um, I, I was supposed to fight there at the end of the year, so I mm-hmm. was training, like, for that. Mm-hmm. And then um, these guys, they came with this fight here, so mm-hmm. now that I cool, so I do, do, do that. So mm-hmm. I'll probably do that one at the start of next year. Or yeah. Depends on the year. This might be my last one. Depends how I feel in it. I don't mm. know. But I was due to go to Africa because I wanted my last fight to be in Africa. You know what I mean? So the, it was just, it's just the thing. I just wanted my last fight to be in Africa. Yeah. So, um. So, so where, was, yeah, so so where do you see what happening with Sam? Do you see yourself getting a win by what way of what what type of stoppage? Knock him um, straight out or go to distance right, so points. Do, um so I watched Sam today for the first time. Um Me so too. it's a fight that yeah, I can can win. So I could win by KO or I could win by points, but at the same time, he wants to come in there to try to KO me. So it's all I think about you like can, I think you can knock I, I think you can knock him out. Uh, I, I, I had a little peek of him. Yeah, well, that's what a few, few folks have said. So um, just after, I'm just kind of chill about it because I don't know how I feel until I'm in there and I get I get hit. So um, yeah, we got to see on see on. But I do believe I can win, but um, mm-hmm. you got to, I've just got to see how I feel. Got, like, got, man, like, you know, you hence, just, I'm just relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. You were like, how's your day been? How's it been in the bubble? 
in the Channel 5 bubble. I don't oh, know. Yeah, what, yeah. what happens? Do you get COVID tested as you arrive? Yeah, so you come in, so you we all had a time to come in. We come in, we go straight to the test, and then you come in your room for the day, like you don't come out to the next day. Mm -hmm. Um but it was kind of annoying. I thought that we could do this thing way in, and then I was planning to go out to go and eat, but we can't mm -hmm. go out to eat. Remember, I was saying to you, I'm going to go out. Yeah, eat. you're not allowed to leave the bubble. To yeah, got to stay in it. So yeah. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in jail for three, three days. So I'm, I'm going to order something in. I'm going to order something in, but um, yes, yeah, so I just are you here. sticking to nutrition while you're in there, or are you sliding? A yeah, bit? yeah, yeah. I've got all of my kind of my bars and my healthy drinks, I've got everything mm -hmm. there. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to order some food in, some healthy food in. So mm -hmm. I, I've been I've been pretty good because I brought um, like three days worth of stuff because a lot of the food that they wanted to give us, I was like, I can't eat this stuff before my fight, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. So um, so um, what, yeah, so, so what did you? Good. What did you weigh in at? at, at, at? Um, I was ten stones, thirteen pounds. Ten stones. So he went in there with me. Huh? So we, both, we both weighed the same. Ten. Stones. I both weighed the same. Ten stone thirteen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and how? I, I, I didn't see how he looked. So I I I, I, I didn't see yeah, it. I, I didn't out, in August, I was at twelve and a half stones. So I've lost like a stone and a half. So um. It's been been cool, like you know what I mean. Yeah, you being twelve and a half stone at your height, maybe he's not the best, <laughs> is it? She's like, shit, man, you're short and you were short and fat. No, no, I'm just saying that's a bit, maybe a bit too heavy for your height, you know, like yeah, but it's quarantine rate weight as well, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's yeah, that's, that's what it was. I was inside, just had my sweets and just eating my sweets. Yeah, every and I chilling to about fights. I know, and just I chilling, about isn't it? And 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 um, you've never been knocked out, like. No, I well. In pros. In pros. Trying to do this to, well in my life. In your life, he's okay. He's trying to do this to me tomorrow, so um, so yeah, so hence I had to train hard because I know this man's trying to take take off my head. Yeah. But um, I'm I'm okay though. That's what I'm saying. My chin touch wood. Yeah, it's always, good. Always, I've seen, yeah. It's always been fine, that's what I'm saying. So I'm, I've only been down once. I've been knocked, knocked down once in all my career. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah, like, I've had a good a good career and I've done what I've done. So, hence, I believe I can go out there. That's why you keep the beard. You keep the beard to give you something. <laughs> oh, you yeah? You keep the beard oh, so yeah. when it... No, so when you get punched, it absorbs. <laughs> That's what I hear, but I don't know if that's true, though. I don't know. If that's true. I don't know. Only you will know. Only you know. will know. I've heard that too, but I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true. Yeah. And has he got, he's got a height and reach advantage over you, does, does he? Because what are you, like 68? Huh? What's your reach, 68? I've got no idea. But um, I, saw, I, I no think idea. I saw it on Box Rick. I, I don't, but I don't even, I don't even think they know because that's what I say to them like years ago and I never even knew myself. Oh. So I gave, I gave it to them and I never even knew myself. So a lot of yeah. their stats are off. Oh, like wrong. Yeah. Off. Off. Is he taller than you though? He is, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's got um like three inches on. He's got three inches. But I thought a lot yeah, of guys who are tall and it's not really an issue. I don't really yeah. care about that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So and yeah, it, and, he, and he's gonna come in close to fight me. So he, by the sounds of the way he fights, he's not gonna use his. He's gonna be. He's gonna keep you at distance. Yeah. So, oh, you um, think he's coming in close and yeah, not gonna keep it? Oh, yeah, he, so he's gonna fight you in like in the inside, like and just yeah. Well, then yeah, you know how to that, counter that. You're gonna. Yeah. Um, you you better get that jab out, mate. <laughs> That's the aim, man. But you yeah. gotta you gotta be able to do it. So yes. But, yeah, get yeah, that jab out. That is the aim. And um and talking about like the jabs, we uh we're talking about like also obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the fight and talk about it. I just want people to know that he's fighting tomorrow on channel five at ten PM. But as you heard, the undercard starts at seven. So tap in. I'm tapping in. So um with this all this jab stuff, what where do you what do you see with the uh, the uh, Anthony Yard and his name just came out, Lyndon Arthur? Arthur. Yeah. Arthur. What 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 was your take on that? Um, I thought it was a good fight. Um, 
like he I, f- I did think he lost the fight, but um, it's a fight they can do again. Like, I don't see the issue. He lost to a guy that's never lost before, so the guy is obviously good. The guy was a champion, I think, a Commonwealth champion, so the guy was yeah. very good, but he just wasn't known. Yeah. So, um, yeah, did you so, think um, it was a close fight or? Um, I, or a clear, clear win? No, no, no. They didn't really do much, though. It mm. was just a fight that was won on a jab. Like, so yeah. they didn't really do much. And Yard hurt him in the last round. That's what I said. My bro, my bro, my brother couldn't believe that Yard had lost because Yard had the power. So Yard mm-hmm. could have, in the last round, we saw it, but he just started late. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know. I don't know why. But um, I, I would like to see them do it, do it again. Mm-hmm. And they, that's what I'm saying. It might go down to three fights. It might be one, one, and then they do it for three three fights but mm. that's what i'm saying a lot of times sometimes we have an off night you might train good or whatever but you have an off night and as well no yards yeah there's no crowd and yards had a bad year in a mm-hmm. sense where he's lost his dad i think he ran some other members of his family so yeah. at the end, it, it's hard man like i just i heard he done some interview and he said that no one cares about what is going on in your life you have to perform in the ring it's but true. it's still hard like but it's, hard, but it's like true it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna touch your work at some point it's hard yeah. just to cut it yeah so um i'm sure i'm sure he could come come back yeah i like because that's what I'm i first met him like in america so i didn't even meet 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 him here i met him mm-hmm. in america like when he was on the car come up yeah like, with his coach because they yeah. came to the gym mm-hmm. with, with floyd so floyd was gonna sign them mm-hmm. so um yeah so you know what i mean he's been around like for a while so i'm sure that he's gonna bounce back bounce back yeah definitely yeah. sure sure yeah. um what what i was gonna say about um about what do you think that like judges like letting a fight win but solely based on a jab well, if, uh, a jab, the jab is the key to a fight in the first place. So mm-hmm. if, if I'm throwing a jab and the man's not throwing air or anything else, I'm going to win the fight. Yeah, but what if he is throwing back? What is What are some judges seeing and some judges not seeing? Because it wasn't um, like he wasn't throwing, it wasn't like Yard wasn't throwing any punches because he clearly yeah. did some jabs and then and some body shots as well. I just... Yeah, I, I just, just think I think he didn't. I think he didn't do enough. I his punch output didn't. wasn't enough. Yeah, I think he didn't throw enough. But that's what I'm saying. Going into the fight, I thought he was going to win easy. But on mm. that's what I'm saying. It's all on, on. It's about doing it on the night. It doesn't yeah. matter who you are or what you can do. Yeah, you still have to go out there and perform on the night. Yeah, and this was this guy's like big chance to get into the line. Like if I beat Yard, boom, like yeah. Yeah. So the motivation is kind of where man like me, I think, yeah, Yard's gonna go in there and win easy, mm-hmm. but then Yard might have just been chill, and then this mm. other guy who's really up for the win, and then he. So there was there was not much in the fight, so that's what I'm saying. If they do it again, it'll probably be like a better better fight because Yard yeah. was so much up yeah to get more yeah because both of them really didn't do much too in much. the fight. So it's not like I can say that this guy is so much better. Like he fought good for what he had to do, do but they, yeah. both didn't, they both didn't do much. They both could do better than what uh, what they did. did. Yeah, and um, and um, where where your thoughts lie when it comes to you know like trilogies and all of this? So where do you think about this um this Deontay Wilder trilogy and this whole debacle of what he's been um, saying? What have you been k- keeping up with well, all of this? Yeah, from what I saw, it was because they let it run out. They let the time run run out. So I wanted to see them do it again. I thought he would have lost again, but I yeah. wanted to see. Them, I wanted to see them do it again because he was old that because he was the champion and you lost. So you're mm-hmm. your car, your your back. Mm-hmm. But um, wait, 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 my back. All right. So um, <laughs> but I still yeah. So it was from what I know, it was his fault why the fight didn't go ahead because they let the date mm-hmm. run by. So it's not really their fault. But now it's all about a AJ and and Ty Ty. So now for next 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 year. So maybe maybe that, not. Yeah, you never know. You maybe never know maybe not. <clears throat> but because fight now. No, because Wilder is now doing legal action. 
yeah, yeah, you gotta do all that mess. You He's doing do all legal that. action, and if he gets the judge to state that they have to fight, then they have to fight, and then the yeah. AJ, then the AJ yeah. thing isn't happening, and then the AJ thing only happens if, if also if Pulev loses, which I think he will. But yeah, like, I think. He will, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bless him, but... He'll probably he, win by KO, I think. I think AJ will win by KO. Yeah, me too. Oh, me what? too. Probably a late stoppage. Yeah, that's what I think. That's mm -hmm. what I think. I'm thinking about between, like, nine, round nine, ten, possibly even eleven. Yeah. If yeah. AJ wanted to, he could go the distance if he wanted to, but I just think he just wants to do a bit of boxing and then bang him, like, and knock yeah, him yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to I be honest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he, he looks like he's come in a little heavier than what he did with Ruiz. So he needed to have a little bit more you on come to knock man out. You yeah, come, come to, to knock, knock he's come to out. knock man clean out. But with the with the wilder thing, do you think it's like quite pathetic with all the the the, the excuses that he's come up with? Yeah, that's been a shame. Because yeah, again, as I've been saying, in sport you win and you lose. Mm -hmm. If you lose, you just take it on the chin mm -hmm. and you come back, it's how you can't come back. So it's a shame that he's been saying it's been been this, it's been that, it's been like mm. the best man won on the night. Let's just be real. The best man won on the night and just fight him again and then mm -hmm. you can prove it wrong. Like mm -hmm. the excuses, no one yeah, I don't really get the excuses because you just look bad, you, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, you just look bad. So, I, so I would say yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's a shame for a man that had done, he had been like KO in man, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Then you, you lose one on time and then... And you're you messed up now. Down underneath the ball. Yeah, so it's a shame for him to do that. It's a shame for him to do that. Just yeah, man, mashing up your little legacy, Wilder. Just, just come back. I said just mashing up his little legacy. Yeah, yeah, shame, you know what shame. I mean? Yeah, it's a shame. Like, um, oh, yeah, shame. And, and, and who... Is like who would you say was your was your toughest fight? Pablo Caesar Cano. Okay, tell me about him because I, I don't know who he is. No. So, Linar so he I'm going to write it down. He KO'd Linares in one round. Yeah, he hit so hard. He hit. I've never been hit as hard as Pablo Caesar. Caesar hit. Hitter. Man's a hitter out here. Yeah, he's he a hitter. Hit so, yeah. He hit so hard. I've never felt so much pain in my life. So, um, really? Did you lose that I fight? Lost a, <laughs> I lost a split decision. I lost a split decision um, to him. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah. Like, where's he from? Hard fight. Where's, he, where's he from? Me Mexico. 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 Mm, Los Eto Sabes. So, yes, Loco. So. <laughs> See, that's very crazy. Yeah, they got yeah. they got so, um, one of the best fighters come out of Mexico all the time. So, in yeah. my opinion, yeah, so he was very tough. Like he had fought like a who's who. Yeah. And um, I kind of didn't believe in him because when I went into the fight, it, it, it the funny thing was it was my first fight with um Floyd. Yeah. And um, I was on Floyd's card and stuff, and they won. They wanted me to fight for the world belt straight after this fight, so they put this guy in front of me. Yeah, and I was supposed to win easy, and then when I got in the ring of him, the man hit me so hard. I was like, "What the f is this?" Like, I was like, "Damn, this guy is so, 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 so strong." So, but you went ten rounds. It was amazing that I went the ten. Yeah, yeah, it did. One judge for four, I won, and then two for he won. Yeah. So it it was still I was still doing good, but yeah. it was very hard, hard fight. So I'm, yeah. But those, but those kind of fights are the ones where it make me know, like me and myself, that mm -hmm. I, I don't have no quit in myself. Like if, yeah. if shit is going hard, I fight, fight down and just work through the pain. Yeah, so you're tough. Tomorrow, if I have to, do I can yeah I can work work through it. So, yeah. So with it, we go. with yeah. it, with how do you know where when you come to retirement? Do do you really agree with like the last thing that goes as you get older? Like the last thing that goes is power. So speed and agility, your footwork starts to slow down, your reactions, and would you say that starts to slow? Have you noticed? Yeah, well, that I, within well, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm 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 slower now and stuff. So I feel like I'm slower now and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm slower and stuff, but at the same time, my mind is still sharp. So, so even though I'm slower. 
the experience is there mm. and then my mind is there. So then mm. I use my other stuff. So mm-hmm. I can't, so instead of the speed, I mm-hmm. use my timing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I time my stuff or I just know how to do like other uh, for things. So mm-hmm. um, for me, um, it, it's cool to be older. I don't really mind. And that's what I'm saying. Me sparring these young guys, Completely it helps me to yeah. work my, because they got all the speed, the energy, mm-hmm. the power, and they're on it. Mm-hmm. But then that's what I'm saying is for me to just work, use my mind to break, break them down. Mm-hmm. And nine times out of 10, I do. So, um, yeah. So it'd be interesting because I know this guy tomorrow, like he wants to come in there to KO me, blah, blah, yeah. blah. So it's for me to go in there and to um, switch. I got my game plan and he has his. So it's mm-hmm. for me to go in there and to, to do my thing and he to do his thing. So it'd be interesting to, yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah, I'll give you that because you've got, yeah, you've got. We will see. Kind of, uh, yeah, to download what information we'll that out. you need to download from each other. Yeah. Do you tend to do, how long does it take you to download yeah. like info yeah. when you first start a fight? Are you, uh, are you an instant downloader? It takes you about one round or you, or you go into the second round still downloading or. Don't worry. We can see that you in Venice. <laughs> you gone back to Venice. You left me again. I'm beginning to really think that you don't like me. Well, the internet doesn't like us. It's Virgo power. It's too much for them. Ash, it's too much for them. I think maybe your battery died. I think that's what's happened because you did say that. Guys, we'll pause. We shall pause for the cause. All right, so um, so tomorrow is your night. Um, yes. It's 10 o'clock that you're on. Undercard starts at 7. I'm going to be rooting for you. Thank you. A fellow West Londoner. Okay. And a fellow Virgoan. So okay. there. So I wish you well. And um, Thank we'll catch up. We'll catch up after anyway. I'll I'll, I'll chop it up with you after Defo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Miss. Thank you. So, thank you so much, Ashley. See you later. Bye. 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 So, guys, I guess I need to wrap it up. And that was Ashley Treasure Theo Payne. I wish him the best. Um, I wish him the best in his retirement. Uh, cool dude. So, I'm signing out. Hey, girl, Miss Leah Bishan, non less. Gone. Rah. <laughs>